Three men announced plans to hold a straight pride parade in Boston, and for some reason, it's news. For some reason, activists are outraged that three random dudes wanted to have a straight pride parade for the three random dudes. Why do I care? I don't care if you want to have a pride parade for literally anything. You want to go out and march around and talk about what you think? Why would I, why would I be bothered by that? Like, if, if the straight people were going around and ranting things that were, like, against the law, I suppose, like, hey, you shouldn't give them a permit, they're breaking the law. But if you want to walk around and talk about the nutritional value of bananas, or why you're proud to be straight, I honestly do not care. Yet for some reason, we are seeing CBS report on this, we're seeing people on social media talk about it, and of course you're getting the left-wing outrage. So let's figure out what is the straight pride parade, and why should we apparently care? Because now you got me making a video about it. Admittedly, I do think it's a funny story. So we will look at this, we'll look at some of the left-wing criticism, but before we get started, go to timcast.com slash donate if you want to support my work. There are many ways that you can support me, PayPal, cryptocurrency, physical address, but of course, the best thing you can do, like and comment, share the video and subscribe because the engagement says, hey, YouTube, this video rocks and we engaged with it. But let's read the news. June is LGBTQ Pride Month and cities all over the world are hosting rainbow festivities, festivals and parades to celebrate the community. However, a group led by three men is trying to champion a different community and says they are planning their own parade in Boston to celebrate, celebrate straight pride. The organization Super Happy Fun America, which claims to advocate on behalf of the straight community in order to foster respect and awareness with people from all walks of life, is planning the event according to its website. The parade appeared to be a reaction to the city's rejection of the group's application to raise its straight pride flag at Boston City Hall earlier this spring. We are disappointed that the Walsh administration has cho chosen hate and discrimination a blog post on the site from April 20th reads, Therefore, we have decided to launch a campaign to educate the public, politicians, and civil servants about the straight community and the unique problems we face. We have determined that a parade would be the best way to promote our community and its diverse history, culture, and identity. We anticipate that the city will eventually choose to embrace tolerance and inclusivity. So the question I have, because invariably there's going to be some left-wing outrage, is why is this worthy of attack? I, I would like to have a legitimate explanation as to why these guys who have said nothing but positive things, whether it's in jest or not, are worthy of being attacked, insulted, derided. And, you know, I, I don't want to go as far as to say harassment, but certainly the left would if, if it was inverted. If somebody wants to put on an event where they're like, hey, we've done good things, I'll be like, okay, I, I, I will just be at home playing video games. I'm not going to get bent out of shape because someone wants to walk around waving a flag. It doesn't affect me in any way. So why, why the outrage? Why would anyone be concerned about this? The group, why is CBS writing about this? And I guess the only reason I'm doing a video on it is because I think it's stupid that the news is covering it. The group said, propo the group said proposed one day event will consist of a parade and ceremony during which the straight pride flag will be raised over Boston City Hall. The flag raising will be followed by speeches and outreach to the community. According to its site, we invite Mayor Martin J. Walsh to participate and express the city's support for the straight community, reads the event page. And, and here we have, this is the, this, the straight pride flag, and it shows the female and male symbols on a blue and pink background. I think, I think they're trolling you. I think these guys are just poking some fun. And of course, the trolling is working. The site claims the, the parade will be free and open to the public. All are welcome, reads the event description. Antifa, short for anti-fun, is not welcome because they oppose happiness and fun. Clearly meant to be a joke to troll people, and it worked. Well, that's my opinion, that it's a joke. The group said it's requesting the same parade route as June's Boston Pride Parade, as well as the same accommodations afforded at the annual event, including street closings and the inclusion of vehicles and floats. The organization is led by three men and helmed by President John Hugo, According to its website, Hugo ran for U.S. Congress in 2018 as a Republican, but was defeated by Democrat incumbent Catherine Clark. Vice President Mark Sahadi posted a link to the group's website and the proposed parade route on his personal Facebook late last month, writing, it looks like the Boston Straight Pride Parade will happen. He claims the group filed a discrimination complaint and the city, quote, understands they would lose in litigation. You're damn right they would. Free, uh, uh, equality means equality for everybody. So it's, it's fascinating to me that there are people who would oppose these guys having their parade. If straight white dudes want to have a parade, I don't see a problem because it's not a negative thing. 
If they wanted to, if, if a bunch of dudes wanted to have an anti-LGBTQ event, that would be more disconcerting. But they still have free speech, not a discrimination issue. If white dudes want to put on an event, you can't tell them now if you grant the same thing to other people. That's called civil rights and equality. But of course, many of these people, they don't like equality. They don't. So, uh, they say, uh, he says the tentative date is August 31st. Well, too bad, because we're doing an event in the Philly area on August 31st. So don't go there. Come to our event. In, uh, it's at IRL.minds.com. I mean that seriously. Uh, come to our event. Sahadi is a member of the right-wing group Resist Marxism, according to the Massachusetts outlet Mass Live. The date has not been set on the group site. As it, as it says, request is pending approval from the city of Boston. City officials said the group has been in contact with the city, but, uh, but hasn't received permits, according to CBS Boston. So let's, let's see. Um, this is our chance. Oh, okay. So Mark Sahadi, it looks like he didn't say anything negative. The third leadership role is afforded to Chris Bartley, listed as the group's gay ambassador. He became involved in the straight pride movement after being ostracized from established advocacy groups for merely suggesting that straight people be afforded equal rights, according to his biography. The city's pride president, Linda DeMarco, said in a Tuesday statement that straight allies of the LGBTQ community are among the thousands who come out every year to march and celebrate, reports CBS Boston. Mayor Walsh didn't mention the straight pride parade in a statement Tuesday, but the Democrats said this Week's schedule, uh, scheduled pride events are about Boston's values of love and inclusion, which are unwavering. Excuse me. Super happy fun America and Mayor Walsh's office have not yet responded to a comment. Well, of course, BuzzFeed has, uh, has popped up. The group's application to actually hold the parade has not yet been approved, they say. Now, I think BuzzFeed, for the most part, isn't going to personally get very negative or anything like that, right? But they're definitely going to include a bunch of the left-wing anger and outrage from, look at all this stuff from Twitter. Who cares? Who cares? But we're going to do it. We're going to read and look at why they're so upset that three dudes are going to have their little three-dude march. Look, if a million people came out and marched for Straight Pride, I honestly still would not care. They're not, they're not coming out saying negative things, saying positive things, right? This person tweeted, Straight Pride pr uh, Parade planned in Boston with floats. Yes, maybe. It's three dudes. The Volatile Mermaid, the straight pride parade will be mostly men because very few women will, will get to come. That, oh, haha. Ha. I, 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 you know, you want to make a joke? That's fine. I got a problem with that. I think it's kind of funny, but I don't know if it actually works. Look at this. Even the band Smash Mouth got involved. Straight pride parade, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. F off, and I'm not going to, and a series of exclamation points. Why? Why F off? Why can't people just march around and talk about them, themselves being happy? Soon everyone began to wonder what a straight pride parade, straight, straight pride parade would look like exactly. Boston straight pride parade. You have, you have to come in costume as your favorite Mark Wahlberg character. Everyone walks around ordering a cranberry juice at a bar and saying, how do you like them apples madness? I don't, I don't understand who cares, right? The straight pride parade is every weekend when you see four dudes in polos walking back to their campus at 2 a.m. looking very bummed they didn't get laid. But why be mean to people? I always wonder this. To my understanding, the straight pride parade is just the checkout line at Costco. Ha ha ha. I'd imagine a straight pride parade to be something like this, but in the worst way. It's a guy in a hot dog costume. And then um, this is one just says they're all named Sean. It's rather tepid criticism. Oh, here we go. A straight pride parade would look exactly like this. And it's a pile of garbage. How funny. And some said it didn't even make sense. You can't have a straight pride parade. Parades are inherently gay. Embrace it. I like that. That's a, that's a funny joke. That's a funny joke. Um, this one says, the heteros are upsetteros. Three guys. Three people, BuzzFeed. Found this in an FB thread where some guy is talking about organizing a straight pride parade. Hilarious and accurate. According to the city, Super Happy Fun America's application has not been approved. So had he directed BuzzFeed News' request for comment to a, to a group email address from which there was no response. In response to the social media outcry, Boston Mayor Marty Walsh released a statement to BuzzFeed News about the city's planned pride events. And then he goes into the same thing we, we, we read already. So here's what I think we see. It's three dudes who are obviously making a dumb joke. Um, I, maybe, maybe that's unfair, but I really think it's a dumb joke. And a bunch of people who are pretending to be angry for no reason. Because I don't see why you would scream F off at somebody. It literally makes no sense. And then a bunch of people jump in, and why? Who, who, I, I, you know, I'll ask you this for the guys in the comments, people reading. Who cares? Like, quite, quite literally, if you want to go to the event, you're free to do it. If you don't want to, why, you know? 
I wonder why it is that it's always some kind of like your 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 uh, pursuing you know your cherish of your identity is a negative towards ours. That's how it always is because people can't understand that maybe other people can do whatever they want and mind their own goddamn business. It's like if you go out and say something, then it must be a negative towards another group, right? That's how it's viewed. It's kind of like a tit for tat. If you support yourself, you're against us. That's literally what they do. And that's why I think they call quite literally everybody alt-right. Because in their minds, if you do not bend the knee to them, you must be the only logical thing, the alt-right. And that's literally the game they play. When in reality, most people just don't care and they're in the middle. And I assure you, 99.9% .9 of people are going to be like, oh, they're doing that thing. That's weird. And they're going to walk away. I'll leave it there. Stick around. I got more segments coming up shortly. Next one will be on the main channel, youtube.com slash timcast at 4 p.m. Uh, so I will see you there.